Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Makeup Brushes 101. Now it's pretty much the need to knows on makeup brushes, what types they are, what they're used for. So let's get into it. First brush is the pointed liner synthetic brush. Now for those of you who don't know, synthetic brushes, which the it's the type of bristle, little, it's the type of bristle that the brush is. So this one is synthetic. Uh, this one is used to apply your liner on your lids with ease. The pro about synthetic brushes is that they're controllable and versatile. The con is that they get stiffer with each use. So you're sort of going to always be replacing your synthetic brushes. So that means they're not durable. Next is the Brow and Lash Groomer. Now this is synthetic as well and this is the comb. Now you can use either to brush your brows in place, whichever you prefer. Though I don't really like this one because it is really rough. Uh, I don't know. And with the brow comb, I like to use this to separate my lashes because once I've applied mascara, sometimes my lashes clump together and look really weird so you can go in with this brush and just separate them with ease next is the angled liner now this one is used to do your wing you can also use this one to apply your liner onto your lid as normal and then you can use this one to create that wing at the end of your eye this one is quite versatile as well because you can use this with concealer and just sort of shape your brows. You can also use this with concealer to clean up any lipstick that has gone astray. Next is the lip brush. Now, name says it all. Apply lipstick, lip gloss, whatever you want onto your lips. Next is the spoolie or the wand. Now this one you can use to brush your brows in place or brush your lashes or whatever you prefer. I prefer this one over the brown lash groomer it just works so much better and my brows actually go where I want them to go I prefer this one over this one next is the smudging brush now this one is a eye brush the bristles are actually sable now sable is a decent quality it's really soft really flexible you can use sable wet or dry sable usually comes to a point they're good for precision and these brushes that tend to be long lasting. You use it to smudge out product onto your lid. Next is the fan brush. Now this one is a highlighting brush. You use it to apply highlight to the angles of your cheekbones, forehead, bridge of your nose, cupid's bow, etc, etc. This one is actually goat hair. Now goat hair is a really good quality. It distributes product evenly and it's great for buffing and blending. Can you see the highlight? So that's what this is used to apply. Next brush is the small pencil brush. This one is an eye brush. You can use it to apply eyeshadow to the lid. You can use it in the inner corner to apply highlight or you can use it in your crease. Pretty much wherever you want or even under your brow bone. Next is a oval shadow brush. Pretty straightforward. This one is one of the basics that you will have in your makeup kit. Uh, it pretty much picks up pigmentation and you can apply it all over the lid. Next we have a concealer brush. Now this brush is uh, a synthetic brush which is actually best for concealers. It works well with concealers. You can put concealer under your eyes on your forehead or anywhere that you have blemishes. Next we have the small fluffy brush or the blending brush. Now this one's a eye brush. You use this one to sort of diffuse harsh lines or harsh edges and just blend them out and make them less harsh. A tip is to keep two or three clean ones as backup for blending. Now this one is actually versatile because you can use this to diffuse concealer under your eyes and give you an airbrush effect over the top of the cover up of your dark circles so this one is a pretty handy brush to have. Next is the deluxe oval. Now this one is a bigger oval shadow brush. It is sable. You can actually apply a lot of pigmentation, a lot of eyeshadow cream or you know powder onto the lid. Next the deluxe fluffy brush or blending brush. Now this one is a slightly bigger 
than the other fluffy brush. See how that one is a little smaller. I would use this one first to sort of work the product into the crease and just on the outer corner and then if you want to make it a little bit deeper and define that crease a little bit more you can go in with the smaller one and just concentrate it in the outer crease. I think these two are a match made in heaven. Next we have the foundation brush. This one is synthetic and pretty straightforward. You can apply your foundation with this brush. I prefer the Beauty Blender. I actually like to use my foundation brush for my cream contour but each to their own. You can use this as your foundation brush. I know Carly Bible uses her foundation brush. Next we have the stippling brush. This one is a duo. It is a mix between synthetic and sable. It's actually a really good brush to have. This one can be used for powder and cream texture. It can be used for foundation. It can be used for blush. It can be used for bronzers. You name it, this can apply it. This is a must have in your makeup set. Uh, because it's so versatile you can use it for pretty much anything because it's reverse trapezoidal shape so like it's I don't know how to explain it but it sort of goes in like inward or something I don't know but what that does is it covers large areas and then the wispy white fibers pick up the right amount of product next we have the angled blush brush pretty straightforward you usually apply a brush to the apples of your cheeks, so just this sort of area right here. Uh, so this one is perfect for that. It just sort of applies brush with ease. And this is Goat, I believe. Next is the Deluxe Powder Brush. Now this brush you can use to set your face with powder, so just set your face. <laughs> Or you can use it to brush away the cooking method. Last but not least, I have the powder dome brush. Now, you can use this to bronze your face, you know, frame your face. And works well contouring your face and highlighting. It distributes the product evenly in your bone structure and the hollows of your face this one is one that you need to have so that's it for my makeup brushes 101 video if you guys liked it please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel I am gorgeous I hope you guys have a lovely day God bless